As we mentioned earlier in the show, starting next week, you'll have a chance to taste delicious meals from restaurants around the city. That's right. Savor Fort Wayne is back again this year with all kinds of different cuisines from restaurants all over the city. That starts this Wednesday. And joining, with, joining us this morning with some dishes from J.K. O'Donnell's, it's Will Passano, executive chef. Thanks for being here with Thank us. Thank you for and having me. Bringing this delicious smelling food. Talk about what you brought here and what folks can expect to see at Savor Fort Wayne. Uh, this here is uh, our vegetarian risotto. Okay. Uh, it's actually uh, roasted red, or roasted vegetables. It's got broccoli, zucchini, mm -hmm. squash, uh, bell peppers, a little bit of balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's gluten free and vegetarian. Oh wow, awesome! Uh, this one is actually our famed Irish cattle. Uh, Ooh, okay. Some people get afraid of blood pudding, but <laughs> surely it's a delicious dish. It looks really uh, good. It's a blended of potatoes, onions, uh, leeks, shallots, mm -hmm. and we actually serve it with brown bread that we actually serve uh, soda bread at the pub. But uh, and, and both of these options will be available. Will be available for the 14 Wayne. days. Yep. Okay. And are these two of your staples? Then would you say at JK's? Yes. This we actually probably run on a weekly basis. Oh wow. And okay. It sells very well. How, what really goes into making all this? About how long does it does it take? This is like a 45-minute dish. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually pre-do some of it, obviously, to make it faster for the restaurant. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you guys would all be mad at us. <laughs> uh, this actually takes hours and hours because it's actually stewed and slowly simmered mm -hmm. with all of this in it. I really like what you told us. You actually try to use local ingredients for, mm -hmm. for both of these dishes and for all of your dishes at, at JK's. Yeah, we try to use, we use Get Fresh Farms, which we're fans of, and a lot of the other local farms, and, you know, to promote the growth of downtown. And as you mentioned, we have, um, you have some gluten-free options available. That yep, we will have, there will be awesome. three gluten-free dishes on the menu. We're actually doing a scotch broth, which is made with lamb, mm -hmm. but we're also doing a vegetarian version of that as well. Cool. Now, this is all part of Savor Fort Wayne, so I have to ask what made J.K. O'Donnell's interested in being part of this? Uh, we were like the second people to be asked. <laughs> really? And we took that as a compliment. <laughs> and it's good for go downtown business, right? Last year it was wonderful. Uh, we actually did a lot more than we expected, not nearly as much at lunch, but mm -hmm. dinner time we were completely thrilled with it. So expect it to be busy this year? We're hoping it's going to be a lot busier. There's a lot more restaurants involved, so that helps. Mm -hmm. And we were talking, too, how good it is for you know the downtown businesses mm -hmm. and across our area. Yeah, it really shows people what's out there. Mm -hmm. It's not all just fast food. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, not this a looks problem. delicious. Wow. Thanks for having us. And if you'd like to savor Fort Wayne, again, it goes from January 14th to the 25th. You can find a list of restaurants and dinner menus at savorfortwayne.com. We will be right back.